Welcome back kids. Today I've got something different than what I normally do. Uh, Longer recently sent me this uh, 30 watt laser to test out and in exchange for a few videos as in this will be the second uh, such video. Uh, I wanted to use it to uh, make a sign unlike anything I'd ever did before. This one will allow me to make layered signs because I can cut out all the individual elements of the sign, stack them, and uh, come up with a pretty cool effect. So yeah, and it worked great. Uh, this 30 watt is it's the most powerful laser I've ever had, and it really does a nice job uh, cutting that plywood. I use scrap three quarter inch plywood. Uh, everything about this project was kind of made up on the go and uh, I didn't have a plan uh, per se. I just wanted to make a layered sign and uh, this is what I ended up with. And it turned out pretty good. So it was just a test piece, uh, really just testing out this laser and it performed very well. Uh, so anyway, let's get to it and I'll show you how I made this thing. See how well it cut that out. That'd be pretty close. Very delicate, that's for sure. Oh wow, this is gonna be something else. How cool is that? Look at that. Got my letters up here. And some of those things that look like trash <laughs> are not trash. Go ahead, be careful. All right, let's move all this and I'll cut the background over. All right, let's see how that cut. Oh, yeah. It is very charred on the edges, but I don't know what to do about that because I'm so new at this. So, if any of y'all have suggestions, let me know. And just because I'm impatient, you know I gotta get a sneak peek, see what this is gonna look like. It'll be somewhere right in there. Oh, that's gonna be cool. Down here will be blue, water. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the sky yet. Sun or moon, still haven't decided on that either, but it'll be somewhere right there. All right, I'm gonna cut me out a stencil now, or try to anyway, let's see. I got it running uh, 400 inches per minute, 100% power. This is just cardboard. I really can't tell that it's cutting all the way through, especially on those tall trees. But we'll see here in just a minute. That's what I'm talking about. Woo, talk about delicate.
but I'm going to try to get it out in one piece. Uh oh, right there it didn't cut all the way through for some reason. Alright, here's what I'm thinking. This area down here will be blue. This will be the water. Then these little areas in here will be blue. I'm hoping that turns out alright. So, all I need to do... Just cover up anything I don't want to be blue. Like that. Now tape those down. And paint. So let's see. Alright, now this part's going to be black. This is going to be like a silhouette thing. Which is good, since the edges were charred black anyway. Alright, let that sit. And I'll come back and hit it again here in a little bit. Alright, let's take this part off. Check on my blue. I think that's going to be fine. So now, I've got to paint this up here. I think I'm going to go with like an orangey, yellowy kind of a dawn looking skyline. So let me do. Ooh, that's not covering first down. Get it with a little bit of yellow. Down there to be the yellow. Now let me just get the sun. I'm going to leave that right there. And I'm over here with my little son. And he's going to be orangey too. Orangey and red. We're going to start out with a little yellow though. See if I can't cover up those black edges. I doubt it. Ooh, that's pretty. That's the thing about spraying wet on wet. It kind of blends. I'm going to leave that right there. One of those deals, the more you work it, the worse it gets, I'm sure. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's let some stuff dry and see how, how this is going to look. Well, I forgot to start the camera, but anyway, I put all of those little pieces uh, of the letters back into the cutout, and I'm spraying red on top of them. Because uh, I've figured out that charred edge around the letters, that's going to be black, probably no matter what I do. So, uh, so we're just going to go with this. I'm going to hit this several times with red and uh, see how it comes out. I found some green that I didn't know I had, so I went ahead and spritzed the trees. Got the doe there covered up, so she'll still be black. Well, I've decided just to go full color. This is just all stuff I had on hand. Sat nutmeg, I sprayed it on deer, and looked pretty brown, tannish to me. All right, time to take off some tape, see what we got. Okay, that looks good. Get my background piece over here. All right, 
think I need to glue this down first. Then I can use the cutout laid over that to position my letters and the sun. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and glue that. All right, I'm using the thick version. This is some good stuff. I'll have a link to it down below. Right there. Put a little weight on that. Be right back. Piece of MDF here. Something real flat. Now I need to put some weight on that joker. How about some Milwaukee drill? All right, gonna let that set for a spell. All right, it's been about 15 minutes. That ought to be very well secured. Now, the tricky part. Oh, wow. It wasn't near as bad as I thought it was going to be. Right in there. So... The sun would be the obvious, easiest one to do. So I'll do that one first. Let me get my glue ready. Put a little in there. Then I'm going to hit the back of the sun with the accelerator. There. Boom. All right, now the part we've all been waiting for, these little tiny letters. And I don't know how I'm gonna be able to do this without gluing them to the cutout. I mean, how do I know I didn't get glue? on the sides. Well, that's one way. All right. Right, I got them in there. Damn.
actually looks pretty good. So in order to continue the theme of making this up as I go, <laughs> I'm going to put some epoxy on it. I mean, why not? I am not an epoxy guy at all. I've been a few times, but certainly not anything I'm just an expert at. But I can't read directions on bottles and make it right, so. We're just going to see what happens. All right, it looks like everything's pretty well covered. Let's pop some bubbles. That's it for this video, folks. Thank y'all for watching. A uh, quick shout out to my Onefinity folks. Don't worry. I'll be back with more Onefinity content. But it was nice to do something a little different for a change. So just keeps things interested and keeps me motivated. Uh, thank you for following, liking, subscribing. I'm almost up to 650 subscribers now, which is just incredible to me. Thank y'all so much. And take care, and I'll see you on the next video.